Mrs. Regan, members of the uh, cabinet, distinguished guests, my friends. On behalf of the 50 million people of the Philippines, Mrs. Marcos and I express our gratitude for your warm welcome to Washington and to the United States of America. This great and beautiful city that is one of the few cities that was built as a capital for a great nation is indeed, as has been written, the key to knowing the secret of America. And this house of the American people, an American frontier that never vanishes, your beautiful city of its, with its grand memorials, its monuments, its walks, is indeed a city that memorializes the great achievements of your people for the past two centuries. But more than that, it keeps offering to the enterprising and the talented, the courageous and the strong, the rewards of effort and of initiative. At the same time, as I stand here on American soil, I realize that I stand on what may be the center of the government of the United States of America, here where, as I have often stated, the future is being born. The future is being born depending upon the man who is in the White House. And the man who is in the White House today certainly is creating a new future for our world. For Mr. President, I come from that part of the world wherein the poorest of the world's population live. I come from that part of the world that cherishes an image of America with its ideals, its dreams, its illusions. I come from the Philippines, a part of Asia, which uh, has been molded along the principles of American democracy. We learn to love these ideals and principles. And we lost a million of our people fighting for them in the last war. We have always stood by these ideals. We shall continue to do so, whatever may be the cost, at the risk of our fortunes, our lives, but more important of all, our honor. We stand for the ideals of democracy that is our legacy from the United States of America. I did not come to burden you further with additional problems, Mr. President. For I know that as I have said in many a speech before my own people and before the world, fate and destiny has decreed that the United States of America be the trustee of modern civilization against the threat of a possible second dark ages. And America cannot fail. And therefore, we, the Filipino people, come and bring to you a prayer that God and His divine providence may grant you guidance, strengthen both your heart and hand so that that hand 
may be strong on the lever of power and save our humanity. If America fails, then the world is lost. And thus, Mr. President, I can assure you that throughout all of Asia, there is nothing but a reservoir of goodwill for you, the American people, and the United States of America. Once again, may I say thank you for your warm welcome and your hospitality, which I know we will never be able to reciprocate. Thank you. Those of you who have worked hard in the association of the Philippine, uh, Chinese Philippine uh, un uh, understanding uh, that is that we have first tried to work on since the diplomatic ties were normalized in 1975. I have been uh, uh, have been lucky enough to have been able to attend many of the commemorations of uh, uh, the Chinese Philippine Day uh, as we are as we are doing now and it is because well certainly because uh, in fact it is uh, in my view a very important relationship that we must continue to evolve as the years go by and as the changes that we have seen around the world are affecting our uh, own status within the region. And with that cooperation and with that communication, I think that we have been able to find a way to grow and to make stronger the relationships between our two countries, the People's Republic of China and the Republic of the Philippines. Uh, in many ways, the, the signing of, diplomatic agreement, of the diplomatic agreement between the People's Republic and the Republic of the Philippines in 1975 was just a formalization or normalization of an informal relationship that has been shown to go back at least to the Tang Dynasty. And uh, that is how long uh, the uh, relationship between uh, the Philippines and China has been going on. And we, this, this is at, at, at very many levels. And with the addition now of the, with the decision in 1975 of the signing and normalization of diplomatic relations between our two, country, our two countries, we formalized that informal relationship and added another facet to our, uh, to our dealings in that we added government to government. And that has been something that I believe has been very advantageous to both our countries. And so how do, how do I see the future between China and the Philippines? I see the future of China and the Philippines developing in many ways that maybe we do not see now. I will encourage uh, our relationship to not only be in the very strict and formal senses of business or government to government or public and private uh, partnerships all of those we will encourage but i learned a term uh, and one of the conferences i was invited to in uh, in china and it is a good term because it is i believe presents for us another opportunity to grow closer and that term that i learned from the chinese is people to people and I think that it is another place, another area, another direction that we can explore to strengthen our foundations, to strengthen the foundation of our partnership, our friendship, and uh, so, as we, so that we move forward together into the future. The difficulties, the differences we may have will be helped in every way as long as we continue trying and continue to communicate and continue to be forthright 
in the interest of our of each of our countries. I, have, I am of the firm belief that as uh, we try to make our way in the post-pandemic world, then that we, our, we each country, uh, will not be able to thrive, to survive and to thrive by itself. We have developed such a close global community in both in politics, both in, both in diplomacy, also in business, and so that it is not possible any longer for a single country to make its own way and say that they will succeed. I truly believe that it is the partnerships and alliances that we as a country will make with our friends and allies and partners around the world that will keep the stability of our economic uh, recovery. And I think that, uh, again, the synergy that will come from that cooperation is what I believe will bring us forward to a bright future. And to think, come, to the, come to the time in the day, come to the day when we can say we have come, we have, we are beyond the pandemic crisis. We are beyond the economic crisis brought on by the pandemic. We can only do it. Certainly in the Philippines, we can only do it with our partners. And our strongest partner has always been, in that regard, our close neighbor and our good friend, the People's Republic of China. So I congratulate all of us. Uh, we in the Philippines are celebrating our 124th Independence Day. And together with that, we celebrate the 47th commemoration of the signing of diplomatic relations between the People's Republic of China. And it was both a form of independence, both our independence and both our signing uh, with, uh, with the People's Republic of China. It was our independence as well. Uh, from a, perhaps we will continue what uh, President Duterte has started, what has been described as an independent foreign policy. And this is what we feel is best in the national interest. And I think it is to be advantageous not only to our friends in China, but to all our friends around the world. So with that in mind, I encourage you all to continue to work to, these, uh, to, to strengthen these relationships. I add my congratulations to the awardees. I thank you all for uh, uh, putting in the Hall of Fame my mother, and I think uh, I may be biased. I think it is just right because China did not, cannot find a greater champion than my mother in the Philippines. So thank you very much, and uh, we look forward to continuing fostering this relationship, making it stronger, making it deeper, and uh, to the advantage of our two great countries. Thank you very much, and good evening.